Hello, I'm James Shear from The Accountancy People and hopefully you've got a copy of The Accountancy People magazine. Now within that, um, there's an art one article in particular that I'd like to draw your attention to, which is about R&D tax credits. Now R&D tax credits are a really good way of either getting money back from the government or radically reducing your tax bill, so pay attention. So you can get them um, if, and I'll just read out, if you have a project that's innovative or it contributes to the advance of knowledge or capability within the field of science and technology. So if you're doing something innovative and you're spending money on it, then the chances are you can get R&D tax credits and you really need to speak to us about it. So how does it work? How do you get money back? Well, there's two ways. You either, so if you've got a thousand pounds of research and development that you've done, you can have 2,300 pounds set against um, your profits for the year. So it enhances um, the tax deductibility of it. Or you, if you've got a thousand pounds, you can get a third of that back from the government if you cash in your R&D tax credits which is actually slightly less money, uh, but obviously if you're not ma making profit, um, then it's a way of, uh, of, of getting the money out of the government. In order to do them, there's a process that we need to go through to prove what the, the costs are, um, to, to understand what the project is and make sure it's justifiable in terms of the legislation. Um, and we, we do lots of those, so we can talk you through the process. And in terms of speed, um, we've had them come back within two or three weeks. So we, we send it off, the forms off, two or three weeks later, the money hits your bank account. So it's, it's just really as efficient as that. So if you've got a project that you'd like to talk to, to us about, please get in touch. I'm James Shear from the Accountancy People. R&D tax credits could really change uh, your tax liabilities. Mm -hmm.